Hi guys. Someone in the Netwino forum asked about how to use a stepper motor using the Netwino. And I don't claim to be an expert or anything, but I just happen to be uh, playing with one. I just got this uh, $5 stepper motor I got from emarty.com from China. It took forever, but it only cost $5. And it also runs out of uh, just 5 volts instead of typical 12 volts. So this whole thing is being powered the stepper motor is being driven by this EC driver from SparkFun, $15 uh, uh, breakout board. And it's only powered by the USB. There is no 12 volts or 9 volts or anything to power the uh, stepper motor, so it's very convenient. The only uh, output we take out of the Netwino is the plus 5 and ground. And these two, one of them controls, these are just two regular digital pins, there's nothing special, it's not, it doesn't have to be PWM or anything. One of them controls the direction of the rotation of the stepper motor, and then the other controls the actual steps. So every time you pulse it, it will um, uh, rotate in the direction that you choose. So, uh, excuse the wire mess here, but it's actually quite simple. It's just power that goes to the top, these two goes to the top, so both buses has a plus minus and the, this little dip switch controls the um, the stepping mode apparently you can go full step at a time, half step, quarter step, and eight step and all I could see is basically depending on which one of those options you choose it changes the speed of the uh, stepper motor probably changes the accuracy too, but anyway so those two goes to pins they call, I believe, MS1 and MS2 for the options. And these are the important wires right here. There are four wires here. And two of them goes to one, one coil on to, of the stepper motor. This goes to the stepper motor. And then the other uh, two goes to another coil. So basically there are two coil, coils in the stepper motor. And by alternating them, apparently it makes it move. So let me show you what happened if I change the dip switch. By changing this mode, you can see that the speed changes. I'm not sure which one that is, and I'll find another variation. It goes a little faster compared to this one, which is the slowest speed. And then this one is the fastest speed. And so that's a demo of how it works. Uh, let's look at some code. Well, before we go to code, uh, here's the stepper motor I, got, I bought from emarty.com, and it used to be $5. It's a uh, dollar more now. Uh, but I've also seen it the uh, same thing on eBay, and this one actually has a better spec than mine. I was like having trouble reading the spec on the one that is uh, from eMarty, but it's basically the same thing. As I mentioned, we have two coils and these are the I don't use this pin right here so basically I hook these two to uh, the EC driver and I hook these two to the EC driver and here's the EC driver from SparkFun yeah those the, the two I mentioned just now I hook two wires for the coil here and the other two wire here um, Let's see, and these are the enable that I mentioned earlier, MS1 and MS2. And the only other thing I put is the step right here from uh, one of the digital pin, and another one for to control the direction and power. That's it. I have no idea what these other pins are. <laughs> enable, sleep, and there's all kinds of jumpers that I haven't touched. So that's that. And here's the well, EC, dri EC driver website you can get to there from the Spark Fun Close. All the links are from here. And finally, this is the specs for the chip that is being used by the EC driver. And the only thing I want to show is this table right here for MS1 and MS2. And by default, the EC driver will bring them both high, so it's going at a very, very slow speed and by changing the dip switch that I wire on my breadboard I either change it to one of these other uh, mode to change the speed and finally let's look at some code 
you can't believe how simple it is but uh, all, it, all I did is I set pin 2 for the direction port and basically you set it to high to go one direction you set it to low to go a different direction true false and this one basically pulse by setting it to low and then immediately setting it to high so it, it just basically create a, a rising edge wait a little bit create another rising edge wait a little bit create another rising edge and basically just keep on doing this 2000 times and those 2000 times doesn't even make 300, 360 degree rotations so you could imagine how many steps it takes to just move a little bit and this of course depends on the MS1 and MS2 so if you have it on the 8th step these 2000 will only move a little bit and if you have it at the uh, full step these 2000 will move a lot more so I think that's about all we need to discuss yeah this just loops through forever this change it to direction uh, 0 1 0 1 0 1 and when it's 0 this becomes true and it goes one direction when it's one it just becomes false and it goes the other direction and like I said this simply just kept on doing the pulse I think that's about everything if you got any questions uh, post on the blog or on the uh, net the forum talk to you guys later bye bye